<laughs> we have to get more. Good night. Shut up, cat. Yeah. Stupid cat. So what DVD do I have? Oh. Anything good? You can build guts. That's like my only option. Unless I just want to study. Hey. I should reflect for a bit. Okay, we're not anywhere close to rank 5 knowledge. I think we just do the guts DVD. To get that done and return it. Yes, it's pretty good for social stats, I think. Just get this DVD done. Doesn't matter whether he's a zombie or not. Plant me just in the place with the bar. Oh, uh, Shinjuku? The bar where you meet with Oya? Also, of course it's a Sunday and I can't do Yoshida today. That sucks. We finished watching The Running Dead. Okay. This game loves giving me story days on Sundays. I do think the next deadline is like the longest deadline ever though in the game. I'm pretty sure it is. I wonder what the Phantom Thieves goal is. Are they just choosing bad people to steal hearts from? Maybe someone's asking them to do it. Oh yeah, don't they have a form or something? What if you make a request on there and they follow through? Yeah, I'm fairly certain the next deadline's like the longest one in the game. Other than maybe like the last semester. <sighs> what a refreshing morning. How are you doing? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. Yes, he said the words. How the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? Let them talk. <laughs> well, thank you. But I noticed that you're not saying that the Phantom Thieves are right. I suppose that was an unfair way to phrase it. I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Ah, sorry, I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. Yeah, I think the Avengers need you. It's even more packed than usual today. Not for today's train news, today's headlines are Shibuya crime ring reveals all. The leader's confession has led to the arrest of other key members. Sudden rampage, highway accident, the driver's death has been confirmed, taking the total count up to four. Hot spots of Tokyo, come see the summer fireworks show on July 18th. I see. Thanks to Kanashiro spilling the beans, that organization's fallen like a house of cards. We're getting more and more famous. Okay, oh, Maruki. Tests are coming up, everyone's studying. I know some of you rely on all-nighters, but I can't recommend it. That really messes up your information retention. Speaking of, do you guys know how the difference between short-term and long-term memory work? The simple answer is that short-term memory is more temporary, contextual, but long-term memories stick with you. In short-term memory, you're working with a hard limit. You retain only six, maybe seven pieces of information. But your brain's capacity for long-term memory is huge. It might even be infinite, according to some theories. How about you? What do you think about all this? Short-term memories only stick with you for seconds at a time, that said. How long do you think you retain long-term memories? Um... So he wants to know how long you can keep long-term memories, huh? This is a tricky one. What is long-term memory anyway? Yeah, it was something like that. And the way you keep them for a long time, the question is how long? Rookie mentioned something about the amount of memories you could store, right? Infinite. Yeah, if you have theoretical infinite space for them, then theoretically you'd be able to retain them for... Forever. Yeah, I think so too. This is it. Easy question. That's right. I'm impressed. Basically, stuff encoded into your long-term memory never really goes away. Short-term memories become long-term memories through reiteration. It'd be great if you could encode all the test answers to long-term memory, huh? Ah, well, can't always get what you want. No I am pretty smart. Thanks for Where noticing. I'm encyclopedic. 
<laughs> but at least you got summer break once the exams were over, so do your best to study, okay? Yeah, memories never really go away. That means I'll remember my past eventually, right? Well, that ever helps you sleep at night. Seven eighteen, Marine Day. Finals under the 16th, so that should be good, right? What are you talking about? The fireworks festival. You're really quick to look up stuff like that. Back to studying. I'll do that tomorrow. Hey, we're in the middle of class. Talk about those things later. Yeah, yeah. Hey, are you listening? <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready to dodge this yet. Oh, I am. Let's go. That was an epic dodge. Can't believe he dodged Ushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? Well, whatever. Moving on. Oh, I do need charm. We need charm to finish up to Kenny's link. Calling all teachers to throw more chalk at me. Hey. Heading home? It's rare running into you at this hour. That reminds me. Do you remember the counseling Dr. Maruki's offering? It seems to be growing quite popular. I saw someone heading into the nurse's office just as I was leaving the school. The teachers say he's been well worth his time. He's been well worth his time here, but I have a feeling there's more to his popularity than just talent. Hmm. Maybe I should find that for myself at some point. <laughs> Naturally, that'll still happen when I get home. It's part of my daily routine. Excuse me. I appreciate your concern, but how about yourself? Depending on the exam scores, there may not be a fireworks festival for anyone to attend. Were you aware? Girl, I'm gonna ace these exams. <laughs> I'm joking. Make sure you study well, alright? Don't need to. All right, then. I need to buy some more test prep books list booklets on my way home. See you later. Kodo's counseling session should be coming up soon. Senpai. Ah, oh, hello. What a pleasant surprise. Are you headed home too? Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Is this what I think it is? I think I vaguely remember this. If it's what I'm thinking of. I've got time. Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Huh? Yeah, yeah. I remember there being a part of the game where Akechi and Kasumi are together. And you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. And the same for you. Yoshizawa-san, right? Wow, what a coincidence. The two, like... Okay, she's not a new character, but like the two new-ish characters, new links, <laughs> know each other. My father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. I mean, I know everyone. We made a deal. That's right. He's been offering me guidance lately. A deal, you say? Huh. That's quite the interesting relationship you two have. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. About that summer competition I mentioned to you before, I was chosen to be our club representative. Congrats! This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful! Does that work for you, Senpai? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Of course. Lead the way. Yeah, I got no exams to study for. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? I have to prevent my body from getting too cold, since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. Yeah, Kechi also has a hot drink. Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, 
even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? I swear I saw you eating fried sweetbread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. You seem to have your own bases covered as well. I feel lied to. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of the TV show I appeared on. Ah, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was, what do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act. But, I simply can't agree with their methods. I see. Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Let me ask you then. What do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? I think it's a really good stance, personally. She's not wrong. Ah, so you think you should let others come to their own conclusions on the matter. Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Right, then let's call it a day. Good luck on your competition. You got this. Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. Nice little scene. That's obviously new to uh, Royal. I see you had your friends over for a study session, huh? Nothing gets by me. I own the place, remember? I can tell what's going on just by looking at the tables. Yeah, he, he's psychic. Sojuro is totally psychic. Chihaya thinks I'm psychic. Sojuro's the one that's psychic. Another Mishima rank up. I'd rather do a Hifumi rank up personally. So I'm going to waste no time going to find Hifumi. Oh? Hifumi's talking to someone? She seems kind of troubled. Let's do it. Thanks for shaking my hand. I'm never gonna wash it. Huh? Uh, please wash it. Can't believe that you're really here in the church. I read on the internet- I read on the internet that you pray to God for victory. Is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been... I'll be cheering for you to qualify. You'll be the first woman to surpass the third Dan League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. 
Good evening. Hello. Men like that approach me all the time. At first, I thought you were one of them. I really must apologize for being rude to you. Um... It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me, considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. You see, he's my shogi friend. And he's very kind. He once told me that he wanted to become a professional player. He doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we, when we play together words. Oh. So I did the photo shoot. I'm embarrassed just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called the Venus of Shogi. Nonsense. Please stop. Ever since I won the female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I can contribute to the Shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. <sighs> so I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. She set up the interview and photo shoot. It's as if she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. You should decline if you don't want to do it. I... I can't. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be teaching you how to play instead of talking about my mother. Today I'll be showing you something very practical. It's a tactic for using the reserved pawns you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking actually. with you. Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Chance for a follow up by a backup member if Joker downs an enemy. All right. Now then, I'll instruct you what we play. I look forward to it. More knowledge. It's not much, but still knowledge. Until next time. I look forward to our next meetup. Ah, this is Hifumi. I appreciate you spending time with me today. I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you. But this hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm this distressed? Bring it on. Oh, are you sure? You really are a strange individual, but thank you for the encouragement. If that's the case, I can only hope to repay you through my lessons. You make for a refreshing opponent. Somehow, the more we exchange, the more I feel my world expanding. Teaching you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. Well, then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. Hey, did you know there's going to be a summer festival in Odaiba? A summer festival, huh? How can anyone eat so much fatty food when it's hot outside? Man, you just don't get it. It's because it's so hot out that we can all eat that meat. Come on, let's go check it out. I'll treat you to a skewer. A summer festival, huh? You think they'll have any A5 beef there? Well, you should worry about finals first. Once those are over, it'll be summer vacation, so stay focused. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. I'm glad the Phantom Thieves are all over the news. Yeah, they've really taken off since the whole Kamashita thing. The legend of the Phantom Thieves started at our school. We're practically one of them. And who can who can't relate to what they're doing? Punishing corrupt adults to no good. The police should take notes. People sure are making a fuss, even though it's right before exams. Behind Kaneshiro's arrest of the Phantom Thieves, the mysterious group that changes people's hearts. If I recall, there were similar rumors back during that business with Kamashita-kun. Help the weak and crush the strong. Truly a modern legend of the Gentleman Thief. In the long history of humans, the Gentleman Thief has been seen briefly during times of turmoil. Now, please look at this picture. The picture depicts the final moments of Ishikaya Goyamon. You know he did something during the Sengoku period that had him and his family boiled to death. Do you know what he did? No. Probably like fraud. No, it's thievery. Thievery was my second this guess. Is Correct. Ishikaya Goyamon is Japan's most famous thief. He's very popular and some call him a gentleman thief. By the way, the Goyamon bath came comes from his name. Only stealing from the rich and powerful and sharing with the poor. Goyamon exploits have been documented in many forms of media, like kabuki and novels. No nice going. However, it's actually unclear whether or not Goyamon was indeed a gentleman thief. Rebellion against Hideyoshi, whose campaign had failed, propaganda by the government to sully his name. 
A gentleman thief going among may be no more than an illusion made by varying motivations. In actuality, most heroes and gentlemen thieves throughout history are something like that. Yep. Let's make sure people don't think we're just an illusion. Before that, you need to study for the exams that are starting tomorrow. No, I don't, cat. No, I don't. 